Oh, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy J2K, and I'm here again with another banger. Make sure you drop that like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And comment down your favorite bag. Make sure you can random in the comments to get the comments going. So, today, I'm gonna show you guys the top two rarest catfish pure playmaker builds in NBA 2K22. People are not gonna expect you to do any of these things. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, y'all go destroy at the park with these. I wish y'all would made these builds a lot earlier when the game had first dropped. But I'm about to show y'all guys the rarest pure playmaker builds in NBA 2K22. And let's get straight into the banger. Alright, now what's up, YouTube? Now, of course, we're gonna make that a point guard. Maybe the left hand, that doesn't really matter. Given jersey number 47, you know what I said? All of that good things of that nature. And we're gonna be able to pick this pure playmaker build. Now, what we're gonna do is pick that half green and the half yellow pie chart now look right here look this is probably going to be the rarest thing that you can do right here hall of fame shooting badges on this pure playmaker we're going to pick the highest speed now what we're going to do is first i really want to max out his driving dunk okay i want to max out his driving layup and i want to max out his close shot and i want to i want to give him three finishing badges you'll be good on three finishing badges this year and his mid-range shot I want to put that way too high so I'm gonna put that like at a slight 84 and I'm gonna put this at a slight 84 or about 82 for the mid-range because it's gonna be called a different name and I'm gonna give him up to 17 shooting badges and you probably only need like nine to be honest with you <laughs> but you want more badges with this build and we're gonna max out his playmaking all we had a 25 at 24 i think that's max out at 24 and we're gonna max out his perimeter defense of course and his ladder quickness his steel is also gonna be up and i feel like all you need is about seven about six to seven defensive badges on the guard but this is a good threes build now what you could do if you want more defensive badges you can take off the finishing or whatnot but you can make him six foot four if you make him six foot five i feel like he's just gonna be too slow it's better to make him six foot four give him that minimum weight and his wingspan you want to put that at about an 80 i want to say at about an 83.2 you get an 82 three-pointer and an 80 mid-range and you still get hall of fame shooting badges you're still going to be chicken with hall of fame shooting badges green windows going to be out of this world you can pick any type of take and look a pure playmaker with hall of fame shooting badges which is absolutely crazy now, this is my version i will make it if you're playing a threes this is be the best way to make it with three finishing. If you're playing twos, just take off all the finishing if you don't need all that. And put like, you can get like up to eight defensive badges. But, yeah, right here. But I'm going to probably just put Slither or Lim Lim uh, Limitless Takeoff. Because I heard Limitless Takeoff is very toxic this year. Like, it's very toxic this year. But, look at the Hall of Fame shooting badges that you get. You get Sniper. You get all these shooting badges. You get Green Machine. You get all of this. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put Sniper, Limitless, Spot Up. Green Machine doesn't really work that well this year. I'm going to put on Dead Eye. Hot Zone Hunter on Silver is really good. And Stop and Pop is great. Now, look, this is important for these playmaking badges. You need all this. You need Hyper Drive, Quick Chain, Quick First Step, Handles for Days. Bullet Passer is also very important. You need Unpluckable to avoid yourself from getting ripped. Bail out. And then you could probably just put that. Just add that on a pluckable to have gold. It doesn't really matter like that. Now defensive badges. If you're playing threes, you're gonna be guard a corner. Just have your lock guarding uh the guard and whatnot. But I put a chase down arts on silver is really good. Interceptor and then pick dodger. And yeah, this is the pure playmaker build hall of fame shooting badges. This is probably one of the best catfish builds in the game, man. I swear. Now our second rare pure playmaker build in NBA 2K22. Now what look this is pretty rare. We're gonna pick the slashing and playmaking pie chart now. Right here you get a 93 speed. Now that driving dunk, look how high that driving dunk is, y'all. At a pure playmaker. We're gonna max out all of this. And we're gonna give him eight finishing. Eight finishing badges. And with no higher no lower and now what we're gonna do is put his shooting badges i want to he can get up to 12 but i feel like you don't really need 12 if you want you could put it towards your defensive badges but i'm gonna just put it at 12 for now but you really don't need 12 shooting to be able to shoot in this game to be honest but 
three and a mess on his ball handling and his playmaking has to be maxed out for him to be called a pure playmaker. We're at about 25 playmaking badges. And now right here, we're gonna give him perimeter D. We're gonna give him lateral quickness. His steal is also gonna be up. And we're gonna give him some defensive rebound. And also what we're gonna do now, what we're gonna do now is you can take a bid, tad bit off his shooting. You can give him 10 or 11. Probably give him 10 uh, playmaking, and I think all he can get up to seven. All he can get up to seven defensive badges, which is actually not that bad with this build. So what I'm probably gonna do is put the rest of it on shooting and playmaking. And he has 11. He has 8, 11, 25, and 7, which is absolutely pretty good. Now the best height to make it, you can make him six foot six if you want. Personally. It doesn't really make a difference and you're gonna give him minimum weight and you're gonna give him his wings I mean, uh, Six foot five you can really make him six foot five or six foot six six foot seven is actually crazy to do But his ball handling is gonna be way too low and he's gonna he's not gonna be that slow though But his three-pointer is gonna be Doodoo and that's way too low. We can make him six foot six You're gonna give him max wingspan or you can put his meat wingspan about like 80 I want to say at about you could put his wingspan at about an 80 yeah, at an 86.1 and you can get slashing take or whatever but I if I were you I get playmaking take right here and you have a pure playmaker Hall of Fame slashing badges absolutely one of the rarest catfish builds in NBA 2k22 obviously um I don't know. I don't know, but this build at 99 will actually be great. You want, you can make him, yeah, make him six foot six, but, bro, this build is an absolute demon. Like, this build is an absolute demon. These slashing badges will make you unstoppable. No one is gonna stop you in the paint. There's all the finishing badges you need. Once you get your shooting down, I'm telling y'all straight up, bro, you're gonna be unstoppable. Like, no one is gonna be able to fuck with you. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Like, no one is gonna be able to mess with you. Cause like, bro, you're like that. Look at this. That's all the shooting badges you need. Now, 25 playmaking is actually really good. Try to get the most playmaking badges as you can. That's the first mistake I made when the game dropped. Cause you're gonna need bullet passer and all of that. And it helps out dot your teammates faster in the corner when they're wide open. And if I were you, I would try to, <laughs> I would try to invest in that badge because that badge is very 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 helpful right then and there and probably just gonna put silver ankle breaker for the uh, playmaking takeover I don't know it doesn't really matter or I can do stop and go yeah probably stop I don't know yeah the, a special delivery to help you get takeover now are these all the defensive badges you need silver clamps you get a high perimeter defense you get a little you got a, a decent amount of quickness and that's all you need, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your boy J2K, man. And we out. Peace. <laughs>